Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Let's see, what does it say? Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, Tuesday. <clears throat> so nice little sell-off on GME today. Um, it looks like uh could be a bottom. I looked up different candlestick patterns and was curious because I knew this one had some uh had some meaning. And yeah. You can always find confirmation bias of what you want <laughs> no i wanted to look it up i thought that that was probably a reversal uh type of uh candlestick pattern but i wasn't sure i wanted to just see and yeah sure enough strong red body on the first bar the close and the second bar must be more than halfway up the body on the first bar i thought it was something with like two back to back then it's typically a bottom um it kind of looked like a bottom anyways after we get this green candle up here because and this is another like candlestick pattern when it's green and then you have a little red and then another green that steps from there and goes up I don't know all the different patterns. I'm slowly learning here, guys. Um, so on this one, it started to look good, and I scaled in a little bit heavier to the put credit spreads. I don't know if my all my calls and um, debit spreads are going to pay out this week, because that'll have to go up a lot. Um, but I just wanted to make basically make some money to help pay for those if those end up expiring worthless. So I have a 185, 190 put credit spread. Um, Oh, real quick. Well, you guys aren't going to see this, but that's nah, all right. I'll just talk about it later. Uh, max profit's 1800. Max loss is 2100. Basically, GameStop has to close above 190 on Friday. So, um, yeah, that's what I got there. And it, it's up 15%, so 282. It's nice to have something green actually in this account. Been, uh, yeah, been pretty hurtful. But GameStop looks good. Um, this looks like a bottom here. This could be a dead cat bounce, though, or kind of a bull trap. Um, so you can kind of go either way with it. Uh, trying to be unbiased when I look at it. I feel like it's, this is probably the bottom. I don't think it'll necessarily reverse. I think it might consolidate here. Uh, but then you do have, you do have the indicators saying that this was a re reversal right here. And then you see this on the hourly chart. This is definitely a bull flag, which is nice. And then if this closes green, which I think it will, because that's in four minutes, and you've got a nice little green candle above the nine moving average. Um, this isn't on a whole lot of volume though, so it could be a false breakout. Uh, but also on a bullish sentiment, it looks like it's kind of bouncing off this long 180 day or 180 candlestick moving average. So I kind of called that out yesterday when it was here. I said it could drop more like careful buying dips when it's here because we're here because this is a bear flag and then it kept coming down. I was like, I don't know. I'd, I'd wait, I'd wait, I'd wait. And then today, basically on Twitter, I, I said once I started scaling in, because I said I'm opening up the put credit spread. And that was about right here because I saw these candles. I saw that it would, and even back, back here, I said it might come all the way down and bounce off this. Um, so yeah, we'll see. At this, at this point, uh, I, I'm not super confident in either direction. This could be kind of a yeah, dead cat bounce or kind of a bull trap or it keeps going down. I kind of don't think it is just because it is on this 180 moving average. That's that that's what gives me more bias to think that it is bouncing off of this and going to keep coming up. Um, and then also this little hourly bull flag and then these two big candles next to each other and the green one closing over half the distance basically of the red one. So with those things, I'm more bullish than bearish on it. MACD's crossed over nicely. Um, yeah, it kind of went just past the 180 moving average, so, but it's not always perfect with those things. They're just, those are just, uh, lines that don't mean anything. So, that's where we are on GME. Um, squeeze gonna happen on the 19th? I don't know. People that were claiming that, I saw the DD on it, I liked it. Um, I don't know if they were saying it's gonna start then, it's gonna be the middle then, it's gonna be over then. I'm not holding my breath for anything, I'm trying to have exposure basically some naked call exposure each week and it's going to be expensive so i need some credit spreads to try and afford it but hopefully i can get right uh but yeah gme looks good um real quick though i wanted to mention i jumped into slgg this is super what is it super league gaming it's esports gambling space um back when ryan cohen tweeted about the ice cream cone and the macd and the frog or the, the frog and the ice cream cone some people were saying it was slgg and that was a sign of that that's kind of when it ran up. I think some of this was from that. Um, I swung trade it back here. I got out of it. And then now just based on the chart, to me, it looks bullish, looks good. It's the nines kind of bounced off the 180. It stayed above it. Um, you've kind of got this, this uh, 
here. I got this trend up here. I mean, it's basically what the 180 is doing. And they do have this, you would say, kind of a triple top, which isn't too good. But when it's kind of making a wedge, see how the, even if it's not like that, I mean, it's something like that. I don't know. And if you don't even take the wicks, you're kind of looking at like that. Yeah. To me, it looks like a nice wedge in the upward direction. If there's a flat top and then the the lows are getting higher, basically if the highs are the, the same and the lows are getting higher, it kind of creates this wedge. And if all that is in a bullish, at a, at a bullish time anyways, which is the short moving average over the long moving average, then uh, it's typically a bullish uh, bullish sign. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm bullish on this. Although, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, and then it just started to run. So basically I tweeted about it. I saw I saw the signal, saw the consolidation it's had um, through here. You know, kind of sold off, but then it found support, and then it kind of consolidated, and now it's, uh, yeah, it looks good. And then it was let's see, it was right about here actually. I was just watching it for some reason, and then I started to see these candles with a lot of volume pick up, and so I was like, I'm just gonna do a little swing trade on this. I picked up 100 shares, and then I was like, wait, that's not a very big position. Then I picked up. Uh, 200 more shares. So I got 300 shares on it. Um, and we're up a little bit on it so far. Well, my average cost is 663. I think that's average. See, so yeah, I mentioned it like right here and then it ran up. I feel like after hours, this could go crazy. It's got a low float, so it can like a penny stock more or less. So it can, uh, yeah, it's a penny stock. So it, it could go crazy. They did have good news the other day on um, Top Golf. They basically extended their partnership with Top Golf. I don't really know the details of that. I didn't really look into it, but um, that seems like a bullish, bullish thing. And it didn't really actually react on that. That's maybe what this candle is from reaction, and then it kind of settled down. And maybe this is kind of a continuation on that, on that news. Sometimes the news hits, and then it gets sold off. But then, as it kind of digests, it will the market will then be like, okay, this is viable. This is good. So that's kind of why I took this took this trade, just kind of as a swing trade. Um, we'll see what happens with it. I like this space anyways, so I don't have a huge problem if I'm holding this for a bit. It's nice. Uh, let's see, what do we do on the long term today? Down a little bit. A lot of that's GameStop. RKT, Tesla. Yeah, Tesla actually did take a dump today, I think. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Certainly did. Um, Corsair's down a little bit on our Weeble. This one didn't do good today, of course, because a lot of this is GameStop right now, 24 shares. And then most everything else is down. I guess Tilray's kind of come up, but then it kind of came down today. Up and down. Yeah. I don't know why it sold off today. I don't know if there was news on that or not. This one's probably just... Yeah, it probably just gets a lot of day traders, and so you get volatility from that. Cuomo's supposed to sign. I don't know if he has yet, or he's, he's maybe talking about signing it and legalizing it in New York. That's part of this bullish run. So I'll keep holding that. Um, on E-Trade, we did... This is what we did. So, oh yeah, I bought two calls for MP um, for earnings. If you don't know MP, we've kind of we swing traded this before. It's actually a pretty red day, so I could have waited on my calls, but... Uh, this is what MP is, formerly Fortress Value Exchange, so it's a SPAC. Uh, Rare Earth Metals owns and operates Mountain Pass, an industrial asset, which, which is an earth mining and process site of scale in the Western Hemisphere. Um, produces NDPR, Rare Earth rare earth Elements, are critical inputs for the magnets that enable the mobility of electric vehicles, drones, defense system, wind turbines, robotics, and other high, many high growth advanced technologies. So yeah, this is kind of, kind of in the EV space a little bit. Basically, if you... Um, you don't have to buy Tesla to be in the EV space. You can buy what Tesla buys. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what MP is. And I think the, the cost of the rare earth materials has gone up dramatically. Um, so their earnings could be crazy. I'm not sure. But I bought two calls on it that cover earnings. Earnings, I think, are on Thursday or Friday. I got these two $60 calls um, for, ne for April. And then, of course, we did the put credit spreads on GME. I think that's what all those are. Yeah. Yep. The so put credit spreads on GME, which are up a little bit. I'll show you this one. So it's 240. I think I already showed that. Yeah. Here's MMP. It sets us down 20%. Not a big deal. I can't time those perfectly. 
Um, CCIB is coming up. I've only got three days left on this contract. I don't think it's going to come back, but uh, I was like, why not? I mean, I'm, if I cut my losses now, I'd, I'd make, what, 60 bucks back on it. So I was like, I might as well just hold it just in case. But CCIB has got to go to 40 by Friday. I've seen, uh, I've seen faster. So yeah, that's CCIV and, and then that's Weeble and then that's Robinhood. You guys saw them all and TD Ameritrade. You even saw TD Ameritrade today. So the cover call on Rocket and UD UWMC and then also Airbnb have all been working out. Airbnb has sold off. Yeah, pretty heavy today, wow. And then Rocket also sold off so with rocket i kind of saw that it, it didn't seem very uh bullish to me same with airbnb i wasn't as sure on airbnb though but i kind of saw that this looked like a top to me and that's why i put a call credit spread on it, or a covered call on it so i've got till friday on that that one's got nice premium though i like the premium on uh airbnb Let's look at this this is uh 330 dollars and i've got up till 220 so i've got pretty good room on it to go up and it's 330 dollars for just a few days of premium so that is neat oh gme actually closed that candle closed red coming into close <laughs> see the hedge funds and whoever's manipulating this market maker mark makers aren't but maybe i don't know uh see they they know what the technicals show and what technical traders look at in this so it's they also play into that they know this is setting up a bullish uh basically chart or a pattern let's knock it down and crush it and that's what happens like that's what we're seeing here like it's crazy and then even here they're knowing like i mean this is still a bull flag in my opinion but i kind of wanted that last candle to be green we'll see um yeah i, I don't have strong conviction on it either way i i'm leaning more towards this this was the bottom this 172 at least for the next couple days probably I mean, it could consolidate and keep dropping. I don't think that's going to happen. I think if it starts to consolidate, it'll find a floor and then run after that. Um, or it could just keep dropping. It might open up down here tomorrow because after after hours, they kind of do whatever they want with it. it. Might open up down here and then just go crazy to the upside. But that's what I got for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to sub up, like up, comment down. Happy Money sticks around. Follow us on Twitter at Happy Money YT. I'll show you right here. Um, yeah, this is funny. Just picked up 100 shares of SLGG for swing trade. And then I actually picked up 200 more, I say, later. But this was at uh, 339. Oh, I just, yeah, I just happened to watch it because it's on my watch list. So 339 is like right here on this candle. I didn't know it was going to go crazy. I did see that this, this candle was a large green candle and it was starting to get volume. So then once it was here, I was like, wow, okay, that's legit. So I think this, this could go crazy after hours. Um... I don't think uh, I don't think it's over. It's a nice little bull flag it's setting up. Uh, that's it, guys. Thanks so much. We will see you tomorrow. Peace out.